speak, friend. This is still when I turn twenty five. That's going to do it for me today. Should, maybe should send some money to this character. Alright guys, thanks for watching and call it a day. I'm about to go to sleep. A little tired. Okay, let's try it out. Snare's Legacy. Harvey Sutton. Camp Tarjo that needs to be changed to Sunrock Retreat. What can I do for you? And let's go see if there's any potions. What can I help you with? Yep. Actually, we got ten. It's kind of a lot. I'd buy more anyway. Uh, well, we want to go. Oh. Reserves. Yeah, we can get that one later. How have I been? I've been good. I've been doing uh, a lot of website work over the last like four days. Uh, I was there was I've been a lot, I've been having a lot of unhappy customers about people who bought from me in the past and they were unable to access the guide because when my site went through a migration, the old members area got wiped and I had to reinstall it and it literally took me like four days to do. Ah, oh, I've been expecting. Okay. Good. Yeah, the two th the people who bought my guides for me from 2006 through 2012 were unable to access the products they bought because of the site migration wiped out my old members area, and it literally took me four days working full time to get that stuff up and running again. I was getting email after email about people complaining that were they were unable to access my old leveling guides I made. From all the way to Cataclysm, well, no, Missa Pandaria. 
and so it took me four days to reinstall all that stuff. It was an, it was kind of it wasn't easy to do. I just want to play the game. That's all I want to do. I just want to play Classic WoW. I don't want to keep working on website stuff all the time. But yeah, I got I got, got it all done now. I finished installing the old members area, and I emailed all those people that emailed me over the last like couple weeks, and I let them know it's back up and running again, and they can log in and access the products they bought. So it's all good now. That stuff's taken care of. I'm currently waiting on my web developer to get back to me so I get a new code for the six phases of WoW. I'm going to be having, on my, on my web guides and also in my in-game add-on, at least hopefully, I'm going to have a choice that that you pick which phase of classic WoW you're playing on and the guide will update things accordingly. And those things would include the Argent Dawn turn-ins in the late 50s, also level 50 qua class quests are not in classic launch and they're currently in my guide. Same thing with Argent Dawn turn-ins, and also uh, the whole Solithus section is not in Classic Launch, and all that stuff needs to be, and it's going to be in different. It's going to be in a later phase in Classic WoW, and um, I'm I'm waiting on my web developer to get back to me for the code on that, so I can have a uh, toggle to turn off and on the Argent Dawn turn-ins and all the other stuff that's currently in my guide that's also not in the game right now. Am I the highest level? No, I'm not the highest. I'm actually far from the highest. I've actually had very little time to play. Very, very little time to play over the last Ever since the game launched, I had very, very little time to play, mostly due to website issues. I'm still, I was still dealing with website issues over the last four days, non-stop. Still, I'm still dealing with website issues. People who, who uh, got my guides in the past were unable to access it because an old members area got wiped out with a site migration. But I got all this stuff re, re, reinstalled now, even though it did take a while. Oh, I got a blue gun. Little time, little Timmy's pea shooter. <laughs> yeah, normally as a troll, the trolls have the bow specialization plus five. Um, so I would have to find a gun that is significantly better than the bow I was using, and I did. I found a blue gun, and it did significantly more damage per second than my bow. So I did make the change, even though I wasn't exactly happy about it, because I'm not very. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of guns because of the sound effects, and um, I had to re-level it up, even though that, was, that wasn't that big of a deal. Also, I need to change my rank on Serpent Sting. I did that to level up my gun faster, Serpent Sting rank 1, so I spammed it, but that was, I've already did and done that.
The Joker beat my record. Uh, no, he did not beat the Vanilla WoW record. He beat the Classic WoW. He got the Classic WoW record. Is what he did. And yeah, he deserved it too. Well deserved it. He did practice a lot on private servers over the last year and a half. And I was, I have been following him and watch, watching his progress. And he definitely put in the time and work and practice time to get that. But he didn't like beat my record. The vanilla WoW record is not going to change. It's like there. It's there forever. Like uh, vanilla WoW did not have sharding and layering, which he did use. It's just different records for different games. But still though, like, even then though, still, I bet back in the day that Mage A AoE grinding was still probably more effective than Hunter solo leveling. It's just that no one really knew about it, I guess. Like, I didn't really practice that back in the day. I didn't really research that and, like, really look into it. We didn't even really have that much time to even play the game back then. Like, Vanilla WoW only existed for, like, a, what, two years? And then it turned into TBC, then everyone was just playing the 60 to 70 out Outland content. It was a very short period of time to, like, master the game. Like, I did as best as I could during that period of time, thinking that Hunters were the fastest. So I kept playing them, you know, over and over again, just thinking that they were the fastest. But, you know, probably still, even back then, the Mage AoE grinding was probably still faster to do. I just didn't really know about it, because I didn't have enough time to research all that stuff. It's possible that Joker's record may never be beaten because they're going to not use layering a a anymore. Uh, they're going to stop it from happening pr pretty soon, so we're not going to be able to use that no more. Although I did notice, though, in his run, I did watch him play. Because I, at the time, I wasn't able to play because my website was down. So I was able to have the luxury to actually watch other players, other speed levelers, battle it out to 60. And I was watching him, and I did see that he did loot a lot of mobs. Like, if he did not loot mobs, he probably would have leveled faster. But he looted a lot of the mobs. And re the reason why he did is because he cares about his level 60 character. He wanted to get his epic mount faster. So he looted mobs, e even in the 50 to 60 range. If he would not have did that, he probably would have sh shaved off a lot of time on that. But, I mean, I understand, though, if you're trying to, like, get your epic mount faster, then looting mobs in the 50 to 60 range will definitely help out with that a lot. So, he did do that, but, I mean, like, he's still probably, he's still got the fastest time. At least, I think, unless someone else did that did not report their time and was not streaming. I highly doubt that, though, because I did see Joker practice a lot over the last year and a half. I mean, he definitely put in the time to practice the mage AoE grinding. He got server first on, like, several private servers also. Actually, he did say in an interview once that he still thought that, that Hunters would be faster on Classic WoW. Yeah, I think he, I think I think that's, I think he was the one who said that. He said that on a Stay Safe, Stay safe TV inter interview on a stream. He said that hunters are still probably getting faster for classic launch, for classic WoW. But I mean, he still did the mage AOE grinding very effectively and was able to get a very good time on that. So, uh, what what am I doing here? I need to pick up these these acorns. I mean, I still think that even without layering, well, I don't know. See, I don't really know because I didn't really look into uh, his grinding paths and stuff. I do see that he was jumping into di different layers to prevent, you know, to to refresh the mobs so that they don't have to wait till the t until they respawn. 
And he did, they used the Hearth Glen area, which did seem very effective. Like, that was a great grinding spot for Mage AoE grinding that he chose for the late 50s on that. But as far as, like, what grinding spots would be great to use if, if, you, if you weren't able to use layering, then I don't know, because I, I have not researched that stuff yet. I don't really know. Like, I haven't looked into that. He may have. He may have looked into that. He may. He probably has more insight into that than, than, than I do. I mean, I've just been focusing on just my leveling guides and hunter and hunter speed leveling. Yeah, but from my understanding, he used layering mostly in the 50 to 60 level range. So, I mean, I think that you could probably get it under four days at least with mage AoE grinding uh, without using layering. Especially if you don't loot mobs. He did loot, he did try to loot like all the mobs still. And if he did not have tried to loot mobs, I can only imagine he probably could have saved off a, num a number of hours uh, if he didn't loot all the mobs. Another thing is, like, I get a lot of people ask me if, if I'm gonna actually gonna try to beat his record and stuff. I mean, the thing is, though, I want to do that. Like, that'd be something I'd be interested in doing. But also, you guys got to keep in mind, I'm only one person, and I have, I have a full plate of stuff that I need to work on. Like, I there's a lot of demand for me to get an in-game well, in-game leveling guide done, and uh, that's gonna take a number of months to do. And also, class steps still need done for my leveling guys. Like, I still need to do all the class steps besides Hunter on the Alliance side. I still need to do class steps, some other class steps for the Horde side. And all that stuff is about a year of work. Like, a whole year of work that I need to do on that. And then at that time, once all that stuff's out of the way and done, then I can probably start working on actually getting, like, the fastest time from 1 to 60. But I want to be able to get my leveling guide done and updated first, and that's going to take a whole year of work to do. I can't, like, do multiple things at once. I'm not, like, some machine army dude that can handle, that can do all this stuff. Start going north here. Do I think I can beat the AoE mage? I mean, yeah, I, I mean, well, if they don't use layering anymore, or if they still use layering on and brand new servers, I gotta not loot this. Uh, I mean, yeah, if they if they release a brand new server with layering, then yeah, I can probably beat, beat his time as long as I put the practice time in for that. I mean, I can just not loot any mobs in the 50 to 60 range, and right there's the time save. Like I said. Plus, I need to actually practice. Have time to practice.
Man, I accidentally used my sticky glue again. Uh, I need to quit doing that. Sticky glue is valuable. I need to change the hotkey for that. Uh, change it to control. Control T. How about that? Yeah, I, should, I think I should be able to play more often now because I got all my website stuff all situated. At least I think I do now. Uh, I shouldn't have had to like spend a whole boatload of time on that anymore. Yeah, I'm using guns because I found a blue gun that was significantly better than the bow I was using prior. I normally don't like guns, but if I actually do find a gun that's significantly better, then I do use it. Um, I, I know that trolls have the bow specialization. I do keep that in mind when I switch to a gun. Because even if the gun is slightly better in stats, I'll still use the bow because of the bow specialization for trolls. Uh, because my gun is significantly better than the bow I was using. Like, I'm using a blue gun. And the bow I was using was getting very outdated. It did more damage per second, like a lot more. So I made the change. Uh, fire the gun. There's still some glitches occasionally where the, the character don't fire your gun or doesn't use Raptor Strike. It's not very often, but it does happen.
Also, just to let you guys know, once again, I am recording locally uh, for my classic... This is still my classic launch run, even though it's... I haven't been able to put so much time into it yet. Uh, I am recording recording locally at a higher quality so that um, I'll have a good YouTube video once it's done. And I'm also not announcing first month subs because I want my video to be a little bit cleaner of not me just announcing subs all the time. But I just want to let, let you know that I do appreciate tier 1 subs. Uh, or first month subs. I should say. I will announce any subs over 2 plus months. But yeah, I do appreciate all the subs. I don't even hear first month subs. Like, I don't hear, I don't hear the alert for it. But I just want to let you guys know that I do appreciate it. I like, I definitely appreciate it, and I am thankful for it for that. So, uh, let's see what I get for this. Yeah, I'm getting these whiskers from the cats, and also a Fey Dragon skill from these guys. Hey, how did my uh, uh, group got abandoned? He must have just—he must have left the party. Oh well. Cat just stays there and then attracts these guys. I didn't want that to happen. It's gonna be a long run. That's a really long run. Where am I going? Where, where am I at? Uh, this is that's like a ten minute death.
So when a pet dies, his pet just stays at the corpse for like a whole second. That was not in vanilla WoW. I don't know why they haven't fixed that yet. Um, in game add on. Uh, I don't know. My 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 in game add on programmer is not. He's not getting enough done as fast as I I, I would like for him to do. I, I just emailed him today and I and I asked him what's what's going on because I have not heard from him at all since August twentieth. And since then, he did say he's act. He is working on it on the side, uh, and that he will he will give me a progress update later on. But it's been over two weeks. So I emailed him today. I'm like, I asked him what's going on. So I'm kind of waiting on his email. He, it usually takes him upwards to a whole week for him to reply back. I don't know. I, I am starting to to regret the in-game add-on programmer that I chose because of how long it's taking him to get it done. I'm starting to regret that. There was some other submissions that people had for in-game add-on for in-game add-on developer, and they were almost just as impressive as his. But yeah, the only problem is is just it's just taking a while for him to get done with it. And I don't know. I'll see when if he gets back to me on on that. But as of right now, I'm kind of in the dark myself about what's going on with that. I am trying to get it done. I'm trying to do what I can. I don't know how to program Lua myself, so I have to rely on someone else to make me my in-game add-on. But yeah, I've been struggling with that ever since I ever since I started working on this project in 20 January in 2018. I've been having issues trying to find an in-game add-on programmer that is reliable and gets things done on a timely uh, manner. I'm still trying to figure that stuff out. The guy I work on is a 26 year old from Germany. Just one person. He also has a full-time job. And he did say that he has limited time to work on it. Like he says on the weekends, he, he, he can have time to work on it. Well, he's not giving me updates on a regular basis. I have to ask for the updates. Like I have to ask him, hey, how, th how's there, how are things going? And it usually takes him about a week to respond. But I mean, every, when he does respond, he does say he is working on it and he's getting things done, and it will be done eventually, soonish. He keeps saying, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, other than that, I don't really know. I am trying to get it done. I did kind of tell him today. I'm like, hey, what, what's going on? Where is it at? People want it. What's the add-on about? It's about. Porting my web version guide, my 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 uh, my website into an in-game add-on, basically. The leveling guides that are on my website will be ported into an in-game add-on, and that's what he's making. Yeah, it'll be my entire web guide, both Horde and Alliance, will be ported into an in-game add-on. That's going to take a lot of grunt work. And uh, he's still developing it. He's still making it, I guess. I haven't heard from him in like two weeks, though. I just emailed him today and I asked him what's going on, so. That was quite the death. This area is kind of dangerous to do. Got to be care. You got to be extra careful in this area. Can't just. I also feel like that death is not all my fault because the pet still stays still at dead corpses for like a whole second, and that did cause the other mobs to aggro me. In vanilla WoW, once the mob dies, your pet instantly runs back to your side. In classic WoW, he kind of stays there for about like one whole second. And then runs back. And that one second caused other mobs to get aggroed. I had to keep reminding myself that 
the mechanics are different now. Like, he does stay still for a second after the mob dies. I have to take that into account. These stone stone town saps have a very very low drop rate. From I remember classic beta, I had to kill like a hundred of these saps to get all five of, this, of the saps. Playtime is on the top left of the screen. True false, thanks for three months in a row. Yeah, I'm finally back streaming again. Too bad hunters can't track saps, so I have to kind of like look around for them. It's one of the few things they can't track. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, still my first character in Classic WoW. I had very, very little time to play the game since the game launched due to website stuff. Very, very little time. But yeah, I should be able to have more time now, though. I should be able to start streaming more often. So I got everything done. I got everything that I wanted to do out of the way with my website stuff. Yo, Minty Good, thanks for three months in a row. Okay, so one more sap, two more whiskers, and also two sons of Scenarius. I noticed from the past and, and the vanilla days when I did my speedruns in Brand New Realms, it was always this area where, this part of the run, where I would start falling asleep. It would be like the end of the day for me. Like, this was always like the end of the day. Over and over and over again. This was always like near the end of the day. End of the first day.
imps requests. Hey, if you have any like guide tweaks or suggestions, please feel free to email me that so I can keep track of that stuff. Otherwise, I'll probably forget about it. I got so much stuff on my mind, it's hard to, re to remember everything. But yeah, if you email me, I keep I organize all that stuff. Like any, anytime so someone submits a bug report of my guide or a suggestion, I organize that stuff and I will get to it eventually. Otherwise, if someone just mentions that on my stream, then it could be lost. These sons of the scenarios guys are tough because of their trends. Gotta make sure I'm ready for that. These bandages are getting weak. That just leveled up. Playtime's on the top left of the screen.
Oh, thanks for 300 bits, RTT. Uh, I need one more sap still. Yeah, unfortunately, hunters can't track saps. It's one of the few things they cannot track on the map. Just gotta kinda run into them. Okay, we can leave now. Yourself under leveled. Uh, yeah, you grind on your way to and from quests. That does fix a lot of it. Eventually, the guy will tell you to grind to catch up. But if you're grinding to and from quests, then you shouldn't need to do much uh, of like a big grind, like anywhere. Yeah, I think warlocks are fast levelers. Yeah, I mean they get their they get a free mount at level forty, so they don't have to loot as many mobs, and uh, they they have a pet that can take on multiple mobs at once. Wands do a lot of damage in classic WoW, and warlocks can take advantage of that pretty nicely.
Uh, why only level 24? Because I have very little time to play the game since the game launched. Mostly due to website problems. And that's mostly due to the amount of traffic my site was getting. My site was getting so much traffic that it basically killed my website. And I had to basically migrate it to a much faster server. And in the process, it wiped out my old members area, the people who purchased from me from 2006 through 2012. I had to rebuild the, the entire membership platform for that, which took a lot of time. Yo. But I'm done with that though now. I can play the game again. Have a good one. Yeah, very good problem to have. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely... I did not expect the amount of traffic I had to my website at, at launch. Actually, it was even like a day before the game launched. My site was getting a ton of traffic. So much to where my, my shared hosting account at HostGator could not handle the traffic. And I had to migrate to a dedicated server to handle everything. And, it, and everything's all situated now, and... I'm actually able to play the game again. Go, let's go sell my junk. Talk to me. I got the best deals anywhere. That's good. <laughs> Can't find my website. So shredding machines. Let's go this direction. Uh, best way to contact me, the web, the contact link on my website, that is the best way to contact me. If you use any other method, which I do look, but I don't look as often, you can use Discord, Twitter, or Facebook as well. But like the, the, the contact link on my website is the best way to contact me. It's my most preferred way. I like emails is nice because I can organize all that stuff. And I do check that way more often than any other platform. Nothing beats good old emails. Yeah, emails is still the best way to, for contact and... At least as far as I'm aware. I mean, I still use like all the other social media platforms, but email is still my preferred way of contact.
Do I do dungeons? Yeah, I mean, I'd like to, but uh, what I'm doing right now is a solo speed run from 1 to 60 so I can replace my video on my guide with this video here. And in the process, I'm going to be avoiding dungeons because of that. But, uh, I mean, if I was playing casually or if I want to just have fun with the game, I would definitely be doing dungeons and stuff. But I'm just focusing on a 1 to 60 speed run to replace the video that's currently on my leveling guide. So I'm trying. I'm mostly just following my guide all the way through. This is basically a video for my leveling guide that I'm making right now, while also trying to beat my play time of four days and twenty hours that I did back in Vanilla WoW as well. That's my. Those are my two main goals right now: is to beat my play time in the past and also create a video to, to replace the old one. Unfortunately though, like the server first to 60 is out of the question because there's already level 60s. I'm only level like level 20, 24 right now because I haven't had a whole lot of time to play the game. The other XT guys around here somewhere. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't consider layering an abusing part of the game. It's just, it's a part of the game. So you're just gonna, you you should use it. If it's in the game, you use it. That's in speed, in the speedrunning world, that's what you do. You use glitches to get through the game. You, even if it, you want to call an exploit or not. I agree with that. But it's kind of weird how WoW does change over time, like layering is going to be in and then, and then it's going to be out and then players can't, we can't do runs with layering anymore or maybe we can if they're going to use it on new realms. Definitely the, the aspects of speedrunning WoW changes over time because of that and also the way they come out with different phases of WoW. Like right now, the whole Solithus section is not even in the game and that's a big chunk of experience points which could change your final playtime at level 60 because of that. Like, who knows, like, we'd probably get a faster time on Phase 2 or 3 of the game than we could on Phase 1 of the game. Simply because of a lot of the quests are not in the game. Also, all class... All level 50 class quests are not in Phase 1 of Classic WoW, and they're gonna probably be on Phase 3 or Phase 2 or something. And that's another chunk of experience points that we're gonna be missing on Phase 1. Like, who knows, we might have to have, like, a different record for each phase of Classic WoW. Just because of that. Also, speaking of that, I will be having a toggle on my website and also hopefully my in-game add-on that will allow you to choose which phase of Classic WoW you are playing and the guide will update accordingly for all the quests, which includes like the Argent Dawn turn-ins for in the late 50s, level 50 class quests, the whole Solithus section, all that stuff. Will be in will be appropriately placed into the guide by a radio. It'll be ju just like the class steps on my, on my website, where you choose which class you're playing. There's going to be a choice of which phase of Classic WoW you're playing, and the guide will update accordingly. My web developer is currently making that for me right now, but it's taking a little while though. I'm w wanting to get it done soon because there's a lot of people that are in the 50s right now and are going through certain things that are in my guide that are actually not in Classic Launch right now, including, you know, all the stuff I just mentioned, the Argent Dawn turn-ins, level 50 class quests, and the whole Solithus section. And I'm hoping to get all that stuff 
bleeped out with the six phase of classic WoW radio button uh, choice on the website. And I'm hoping I'll be able to get that done for my in-game add-on too, but right now I'm kind of in the dark with that. I don't really know how that's going to work for, for my in-game add-on. But I did I actually email my in-game add-on developer today, and I asked him if that's possible to do. So I'm kind of waiting on his response for that. So I see that that is going to be be an issue going forward. Um, because like if Blizzard releases a new realm for Classic WoW, and those realms start at Phase One, while older realms are in higher phases, then like I'm going to need to have a choice of which phase of Classic WoW you're playing, and the guide will update accordingly. Like I'm going to need that. I see I'm going to need that. That's going to be like, that would become an issue if I don't have that in place. Phase 3 of Chen's MP Keg not in Phase 1? I don't know. I've actually... Someone emailed me about that, too, and... I didn't really quite understand, uh... I think the last part of Chen's MP Keg is actually a repeatable quest. It just repeats and doesn't give any experience points. That may not be in Classic Launch. I didn't check that, though. Uh... Got respawn. Hey Dill, uh, any account help? Please email me. I'm on on the website. I don't want to provide account help on Twitch. So for one thing, I can't do that right now because I don't have access. I don't. I'm not gonna just like look up your account and try to help you right now. But if you email me, I'll definitely help you out on that. These guys are responding really quickly. Another one of these guys.
Oh my god. These guys are respawning extremely fast. try to do a death warp here. I didn't practice it enough, but I'm hoping that I remember how, how to do this. And I think you have to jump off like right here and land on that thing down below. I don't, I don't think I did it. Oh, I missed. I missed. I missed. That sucks. Supposed to land on this platform here, and, th and then you die, and then you can death warp. I didn't practice it enough, though. I should have practiced it more. I was hoping I'd be able to execute it, so that'd be in, in my video. Oh well. Is a gun better to use it at this level? Well, a blue one is compared to a white one. Yeah, that's why I'm using uh my gun because I found one that was significantly better than the bow I was using. Normally I'll stick with bows because trolls have the plus five bow specialization because normally bows would still be better e even if they're slightly lower in stats than a gun. But my bow was significantly better because I found a blue gun. Yeah, I found that at like level 22, I think, something like that. I'm pretty sure though, I'll, find, I'll probably find a, a bow pretty soon to replace that, probably pretty soon. Even if it does like a one damage per second less. This would be a nightmare if I was on a PvP server right now, on an existing realm like this now, trying to do this run. Time is money, friend. Uh, tough choice. Keep it real. Did arachnophobia. Even though I did put it in my guide right now as an option in case you didn't do it earlier. That's one of the new things I recently added into my leveling guide. Because some people are not able to solo the elite Vesselith spider. That's uh, over here. I put it in my guide as, a, as an option to do it right now. That's one of the last things I did right for a classic launch. But I already killed him though, so I don't need to go do that. I'm gonna go all the way down here and turn in Witch Doctor Quest. Oh uh, yeah, I think you could tame these spiders. I, I never tried it, but I'm pretty sure you can.
15 hours, 10 minutes, 55 seconds. Also shown right there. I need to, I need to make a uh, video on Joker's run because so many people ask me about that. Less armor, but more stats. I'll take it. Uh, where's this vendor? Over here. How you doing, man? Twenty-five. I'm almost twenty-five. Late start. Yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks. Yeah, I need to make that into a bot command. Yeah, I'm worried there's a lot of people are already level 60. Across there's 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 probably at least a one sixty across every single realm right right now I would think. I think there's at least one sixty on every single realm. I mean it's been it's been over what twelve days now or something, or two two weeks even. I, I don't remember August twenty seventh. Uh, what what's today's date? Yeah, like 10 days. Whoa, I haven't paying attention. What can I do for you? Greetings. All right, the uh, Hearth to Sunrock Retreat. Playtime is on the top left of the screen. Can't buy bullets here. Ooh, that hurts. That that. Um, I think I should have enough. Shard veil time. Everyone says I have weird key bindings. What is so weird about... Everyone has weird key bindings, okay? Everyone has a weird key binding. There's no such thing as a normal key binding. Everyone has their own weird key bindings. That's the way I look at it. Who has a normal key binding?
Can I beat Joker's record? Yeah, sure, if I had practice enough. I mean, that's something I like to do. I, I need to practice, though, for that. Plus, like, I don't know if I'm going to get get around actually being able to practice for that, because I got all kinds of stuff I want to do first. Like, I, I want to make an in-game leveling guide for everybody. I want to get the rest of my class steps done for my leveling guides. If I didn't have to work on leveling guides all the time, then yeah, that's what I would be focusing on. But my main objective, though, is my leveling guides. I mean, that's my number one priority, is to make sure that my leveling guides are up to date and finished before I start working on stuff like that. So it might be like a whole year until I even get to that. So it's gonna, probably going to take an entire year to get my in-game guide done and all the rest of the class steps in my leveling guides. That's a whole year of work I need to do on that. And then at that point in time, once all that stuff's done and out of the way, then yeah, I can start working on the world record. But right now, I just I don't have time. I'm only one person. I can only do one thing at a time. And that's the, one, that's the one thing that's been on my mind. Like, a lot of people expect me to get the world record while at the same time making a leveling guide for this game. Like, who do you guys think I am? Like, I can only do one thing at a time. I can't get a world record in the game and make a huge in-depth leveling guide at the same time. I can't do, like, two things at once. Even though I am spending, like, 70 hours a week on this stuff, that's still just not enough time to get everything done that I want to get done. Nice mana refresh. Go kill some fire elementals up here. For the incendrites. And incendrites. I don't think there's any more fire elementals up here. Could be wrong. Yeah, 
I think it's gonna be it. Uh, man, try to beat my old record? Ah, uh, I think so. I don't really know for sure, but I think I am. Ten second tornado. Tons of healing potions now. Probably send a stack to my bank alt for storage. Whoa, get I need to run from that. I ran right into Blood Fury. So I just realized I can use my new update water and stuff. I do have that available. I can switch to that. 
That would be nice. Oh man. That's gonna run right into this guy. Oh, he didn't wake him up. Thank you. I need to start using the stay command more. I have the hockey to shift Q. That would have uh, also prevented that.
Uh, I'm on pace, so I don't know. I haven't really been keeping track of like whether I'm behind or not with my old run. I don't really know. I mean, I feel like I am. I mean, I, I don't know. I had more deaths than I wanted to in this run, though. here. Still need a ton of ambushers, slayers, and rogue feathers. There's so many storm witches and wind callers, and not enough of the mobs that you actually got to kill. Uh, yeah, contact me. You, uh, any account help for my leveling guys? Please use a contact form on my website. There's some more mobs down here we need to kill. It's gonna be hard to get the the syndrites with so many people in my party. It's 
It's already a low enough drop rate as it is. Guys, going nothing over here. Oh, this guy. Where's all the uh, ambushers? I got the look. Lo the ambushers are northeast or northwest. We gotta go up here. Where are you guys going? Well, the ambushers are all up here. And I don't think there is any up here right now. There, yeah, here's some. It's like mostly what I need.
Uh, playtime's on the top left, right there. This guy's dead. Why is he coming after me? I'm like separated from all these guys. Oh, what's going on? Oh yeah, I guess it'll be my previous playtime, just because I'm not on, because I'm on a existing realm, at least I think. I don't see how that would make a big difference.
nice pet level up. Uh, oh, I didn't train on this stuff yet? Oh my god. Well, my pet's gonna do a lot more damage now. Oh, I forgot to do that. Well, my pet's a lot stronger now. He just leveled up and he also got a bunch of new abilities. Uh, you learn those abilities by taming other beasts that have them. And then you teach them to your main pet. For some reason I must have forgot to do that. That's, that was a long period of time too. That was like three levels worth. Ambushers and rogue fighters. Rogue feathers. There's one. Uh, because I can't find the mobs that I need, so I'm killing mobs in between. Like, the rogue feathers are, are the ones I need right now, but they're kind of in the midst of all these other ones, too.
Good, the rogue feathers are appearing out of nowhere now. That's what I want to see. Bring them on. There's another one over there. I gotta leave my party because these I can't loot these mobs. I'm not even really with them anyway. Four more ambushers all the way up here. And then that'll be it. Is this a fresh server? Well, this is from Classic Launch. So the realm is what, like 11 days old now? Some, something like that? Gotta watch out for Blood Ripper. Don't want to run into him.
uh, get this. Hey, Ice Caller. Uh, yeah, if you keep running into opposing faction, you're gonna have to try to group up with people or stick close to your faction to protect each other. I mean, that's just how the game works. Or go do dungeons. That way, you'll be away from them. But I know my guy don't cover dungeons though. Ambushers are hard to find. So I know they're only like in the, in the northwest area here. Oh, there's one. I'm gonna see if I can team up with this guy. beat my past record yeah I'm pretty sure I will be able to I mean there's so many new routes and I'm using auto loot now there's so many new changes since my 2006 run so many changes Ambushers are really tough to find. There's only like uh, six spawns total, I think. Oh, 
there's one all the way down here. Yeah, that's right. There is a dot on the map on the database for a classic DB is one right here. I just need one more of these things and I'm done. Can I be three days, six hours? Well, if I practice enough for it, I would be able to. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to get around to that anytime real soon. Okay, so this is it. Now I can start work working my way back. Okay, so... Whoa, I need that. That's a nice, uh, yeah, that's better. Had enough bullets too. Was I wasn't sure if I was gonna have enough bullets to do all this. Turns out that I did. Yeah, you could jump into my leveling guy from any level. But this is going to be probably be maybe a few quests that you might run into that you're not going to be able to either turn in, accept, or do. In that situation, you just skip it and move on. Or look up at the quest on the, on the database and see if it's not too far from, from you to accept or do. And then consider doing it. But eventually, if you keep following the guy, then you should just slip right into everything. You won't, you, then you won't have to be able to skip anything order to, to uh, blend in with it. What do I want time-wise? Well, I mean, as long as I beat my record, I'm satisfied. So even if I get, say, like four days, 19 hours, and that's good enough. I don't really know what to expect, especially now that I'm on an existing realm. I never, I don't, I've never done a run on an existing realm. So this is like my first time ever doing that. I don't know how that's going to affect things. Uh, the uh, play time's right here in the top left. It's always right there.
how to pronounce my name. Well, you can say any way you want. I've just been saying Jonah. Doesn't really matter. You can say Joanna, I don't care. Actually, I got, I got too many potions here. I don't need to buy any more. Mogra. It's in the mailbox. What brings you here? Go Be right back in his restroom. <laughs> <laughs> 